We started the wine business in 2005 and essentially we've grown a lot since that period and I guess it's all about confidence. We're getting uh, confident in what we're doing and we're getting very confident um, as, you know, as the way the consumer is reacting to the wines and the styles of wines that we're making. We set off with Franklin River in the Great Southern for our first wine and that was the Yard was our debut wine. And since then we've introduced two other tiers, being Cherubino, which is the best wine that we can make, and Ad Hoc, which is about regional expression for certain varieties out, out of the Great Southern and the southwest of WA. Generally and st stylistically, we're trying to create wines that have very silky, soft and luscious textures. So our winemaking philosophy has to adapt to everything that we're getting into the winery. We try to be as hands-off as possible. We try and really let the fruit be the lead role in all of our wines. Tannins are also very, very important and structure is very important. But generally, I think you drink a wine because of its, of its fruit characteristics more than anything else. And as we get more into this whole project, what we're seeing is the things that we're doing in the vineyard really come through and the amount of winemaking and the amount of remedial stuff that we're doing is less and less and less as we go forward. In 2007 we purchased a sorting table and I guess the main aim of this was to actually ensure that everything that we're getting into the tank is as clean as possible and we're just delivering pure fruit to the fermentation vessel. I've seen it used around the world, all of the best states and, and Chateau in Bordeaux use it and I think that's probably why their wines are so great because the end result of all of that sorting is that you know what, what you see in the bin before it goes to the tank, it, it, it looks like a punnet of blueberries. There's, they're just, it, all the berries are uniform, there's no smaller berries within that sample um, and those smaller berries can really contribute to some flavours that aren't in balance with all of the others. So we're removing anything that is inconsistent and we're just ending up with you know beautiful pristine fruit that transfers into a great bottle of wine. The, the choice of oak and our oak management is the, the second most important thing for us. And we really try and select oak that has minimal impact. It's all about subtlety. It's all about the quality of oak that we use. We try and use a third less than everybody else, but make sure that that third that we do purchase new is the best that we can possibly buy. And I guess clarity is something that's really, really important to us across the whole range, whether it's ad hoc, the yard or Cherubino. It's all about seeing through the wine, seeing the characteristics of the fruit without anything else man-made or cooper or barrel influenced or winemaker influenced. You know, we try and minimise that as much as we can. So we're just getting you know, the pure expression of the variety into the bottle. With our Cherubino range of wines, we've got four wines. We have a Margaret River Cabernet from Willie Abrup, a Riesling from the Prongrut region in the Great Southern, a Sauvignon Blanc from the Pemberton region from the Chani Berup Vineyard, and we have a Shiraz from Franklin River from the Acacia Vineyard. The philosophy behind the Cherubino range of wines is really quite simple. Very minimal intervention winemaking, minimal use of oak, but really trying to generate and create wines that have texture, softness, as much personality from a varietal and a vineyard perspective that we can build into those particular wines. It's all about really hand making wines from, from the vineyard all the way through to the bottle, as much as we can do as, you know, and as hands off as we can possibly be. The yard range of wines is all about single vineyard expression and the most important thing about that range of wines is that we have some really strong connections to our vineyards. Um, we either own or are involved in some of those vineyards or the growers of, those, of that fruit, we've, I've been involved and I've worked with them for the last 15 years. Single vineyard wines, very small lot wine making, but with a real focus on showcasing the regional characteristics of those particular areas as well as the vineyard characteristics. Ad hoc is all about regional expression, so what works well in a particular region and it's also really trying to make a very high quality wine that doesn't have any rough edges, that doesn't need to be salad, but offers an extremely good drink at the price and offers a lot of complexity at the same time. Not easily achieved to combine fun with seriousness of wine, but we're really striving for that in those particular wines. In 2007 we decided to make our own sparkling wine as a trial and we've been really happy with the results that we've achieved, not only from a wine quality perspective, but the market has received it 
and the consumers have received it really well and I think that that's something that has been missing from our wine culture and our wine range here in WA is a quality sparkling wine at a really good price and that's where it works extremely well in the ad hoc range. Essentially, uh, where, where are we going from here? I think for us the most important thing is to create styles of wine that are classic. I think if something inherently is good and it really encompasses the philosophy of what we're trying to achieve with minimal oak intervention, minimal intervention in general, and really trying to get expressive wines with a lot of clarity in the bottle, I think those things stand the test of time. For us, identifying you know, better parcels of fruit, developing some of our own vineyards which is in the pipeline and using better cloning material and improving the breed is, is really what we're about going forward. Thank you.